G'day everybody, it's Dave from Wing Chun Mind Force. Thanks for coming. I haven't made a video for a couple of weeks, been a bit busy. But today I just want to make a short video about sticking to your training through um, hail, rain or shine. And a concept that I've used for many, many, many years is that training can be in the mind. And people often say, well, I could be as good as our great master one day if I could train as much as he did. The fact is, all of us have busy lives. He had a busy life. The most important thing in our Wing Chun and in real internal Wing Chun is that you practice in your mind and you practice in your daily life. So don't think that you haven't got time. Everything you do can be a Wing Chun moment. Keep your mind in your center. Keep it always there. Everything you're doing, just mentally feel yourself in there. And that's an enormous thing. And that's what the forms teach us. It comes out in the forms because they're all really about keeping your mind in your body. And, you know, putting your mind in other ways too. But that's one of the most transformative things. If you can really learn to keep your mind always there, doesn't matter what's happening in your arms or your legs, you'll be surprised at the power that's there. Also, the secrets of Wing Chun come to you in unexpected ways and... Sometimes they come when you're working. If you're a person who does some kind of manual work, not even actually as a labourer, but gardening or, you know, lifting things, whatever, you can have some real Wing Chun breakthroughs. So just meditate in your everyday life about the principles of Wing Chun and you will find that you will be able to get as high as you want in this art. So it's just a short video. I hope you're enjoying my videos still. I haven't had very many comments in recent times. I don't know why that is, but um, I know there is some very faithful viewers who keep coming back and write me great messages. So I keep going with this project. I just want to tell you about a new project I have called Viking Superpowers. That's why you can see my Viking ship on the wall behind me. If you're interested at all in paranormal things, in um, ancient history and uh, perhaps the possibilities of paleo contact, the possibilities of human superpowers, the sort of things I talk about in Wing Chun all the time, I think you'll find this channel interesting. It's about near-death experiences. It's about you know life after death. It's about Valhalla. It's about the gods of the Vikings, the Aesir, who weren't really gods. They were, they seem to have been superhuman people, mortals. I'm writing a book um, and I'm going to be creating this channel concurrently with the book. Um, it really does help. I haven't forgotten that I'm writing a book about Wing Chun and making some videos as well, but this Viking superpowers will have quite a bit of Wing Chun. You'll be surprised at some of the stuff I'm going to do, some of the connections I'm making, which others wouldn't make. Um, some really surprising connections with our Kung Fu and the ancient North. Um, so that's it. Look forward to, to hearing your comments. Look forward to um, maybe meeting you guys sometime. I'd love that. Okay, keep practicing every day. Bye.